Alright, it's card of the day, and this is card number 196, titled Lord Darth Vader. Let's learn even more about Darth Vader. Even at a young age, Anakin had a reputation for being able to repair or build anything. Around 34 BBY, Anakin began to build both a pod racer from the pieces he could salvage from the junkyards, restoring a junked pod racer cockpit, and a pair of Radon Ulcer 620C racing engines. Knowing Watto would try to take it if it was valuable, Anakin purposely kept the pod racer in a state of seeming disrepair underneath a tarp. Watto gave Shmi an aero magnifier that she used to clean computer memory devices, allowing the Skywalkers to have a modest income. But Anakin refused to give up on his dreams of freedom, making plans to create a scanner that could locate the transmitter in his body. Around 34 BBY, when Anakin was 7, Watto traveled to Anchorhead in order to bid on parts from a recent crash, leaving the boy with a long list of chores to do. However, Anakin was able to program the droids around the shop to finish the chores by midday, allowing him to take his pack that his mother had filled with meat pies and fruit and meet with his friends and me for a picnic. In a small canyon near the city that had a strange tree with flickering leaves, the two ate Shmi's meat pies and turnovers made by Ami's mother, Hala. But when they returned to Mos Espa, they found the city almost empty. From their neighbors, the two children learned that the pirate Crane had conducted a slave raid, capturing a number of slaves and overriding their transmitters with their own. Terrified for his mother's safety, Anakin raced home but was relieved to find Shmi safe and sound at their house, unlike Amy's mother, Hala. When the boy noticed Amy and Hala's master, Yor Milto, dismissing the abduction of Hala as a nuisance, Anakin resolved to remember every moment of that day save the look of terror on his own mother's face in order to fuel his ongoing struggle as a slave and his eventual quest to free slaves. That's it for now. More information on the next Darth Vader card. All right, it's the backside of the card and it's official description number 13 of 22, the Force. The Force is a mystical energy field that surrounds all living things. It protects those who believe in it and is powerful enough to bind the entire universe together. Knowledge of the Force is what gives a Jedi his power. A Jedi feels the Force flowing through him. It controls one's actions but also obeys one's commands. Darth Vader proves it can be used for evil as well as good. Well, that's the card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also follow Star Wars Obsessed on Facebook and Instagram.